When Paul asked me to join a group, you know, get a group together with him, I went, but I hated piano lessons and I can't really play. He said, there's middle C, you can be keyboard player. Paul McCartney is like some tennis pro going, do you want to play tennis? I go, but I don't mind your keyboards easier, I think. Linda McCartney rock star may have been a new role for her, but by this time she had already made a name for herself as a respected photographer. For me, okay, I'm biased, I'm the proud husband. I really think she's one of the world's best photographers. With people, I always like to get their soul. I'm not into the veneer. I like the character and the inner soul of the person. In fact, I remember Jim Morrison said, looking at my photographs, saying, I don't know if I want you to photograph me. You might show who I am, which I did a bit. Linda's photographs of 60s rock legends also included artists like Jimi Hendrix, Mama Cass, and Paul's bandmate, John Lennon. John's face is so wonderful and he's such a talent. Despite a busy schedule of both musician and photographer, Linda found the time to devote her energies to animal rights. It's just something that's in me. I think life, I love life, and, and nature and animals are life. And a big part of Linda's life, more so than her other endeavors, was her dedication to her family. She was so close to her kids. She wanted to be close. She would, she would even though we uh, were well off, she didn't want a nanny. Linda's motherly influence carries on with her kids even after her death. Earlier this month, daughter Heather displayed her houseware designs that owe a great deal to Linda's human touch. We're moving forward, you know, you've got to move forward. And so this is all pretty up stuff and very vibrant. And it's what Linda would have liked, I know that. Mm, Linda and Paul met in 1967 when she came to England to photograph the Beatles. Now, at the time, she was actually more interested in meeting John Lennon, but was instantly smitten with Paul. They were married two years later and rarely spent a night apart during their 29 years together.